their season is over. So Los Angeles could finish third in the Pacific and either of the two wild card spots in the West. Talked with Jim Hiller. He said, look, we're not resting, guys. They weren't resting Kopitar the other night. Injured is different from a guy who needs rest. Dowdy away from Erickson Eck. 3.04 is the time of the penalty. Bogosian for the interference. In tight, close quarters. Quick shot and Philip Gustafson's best save in the early part of the game. Kopitar got it across. Dowdy spins it down deep. Here's Kempe. Arvids into that bumper spot. There it is. Arvidsson, quick shot. Point blank range. And Gustafson, another save. Second time we've seen that exact play work for L.A. You know, that chemistry is not there. And these were two of the great opportunities that Kings had. And Arvidsson just such a great job. Fiala, again, can't handle cleanly. Goes dangerously behind the back. Dowdy got it through. Kopitar trying the back door. And just missing the mark was Fiala. Bangs a stick on the ice. And it's that top unit out there now. That long shot from Goligoski is right on. And Cam Talbot makes his first save of the game. Four straight goals by Detroit. And that's where the graphics guys get mad at you, Khaled, because you talk about the strength of schedule. And, yeah. Well, Montreal is not supposed to be strong on the schedule. Down They're going to see the Edmonton Oilers. That's the way it looks right now. Nothing is locked in stone except they'll be on the road. Boldy tries to cut into the middle. Here's a chance. Kaprizov pounds one. And Talbot another stop. Happy clubs that are out in the first round that probably shouldn't be. And listen, I, I agree, and I think he's given it to us straight, but you know, Cali, that you do match up better against some teams. Again, they're all good, I get it. But there's got to be a team you'd rather play as opposed to another. Side of the net, that shot is not decided by Talbot. Right? The matchups have to favor you with I mean, one the, team versus another. Now that I'm not a player, I'm not going to lie to you. When yeah. I played, I, I definitely rooted for some teams. <laughs> John Himes tried to put on a good face for us pregame here, but. He's disappointed, and, and who wouldn't be? Here's a chance. Gabrikov to trap it, loose puck, and it's cleared away. Kaprizov strong on his skate, lets it go. It's blocked by Doughty. Stolen by Erickson Eck, the wraparound, stopped by Talbot. This top line for Minnesota might be as good as any line in the NHL. Yeah, they're having an unbelievable year. Definitely, you know, not the reason why they're in a situation where they are. It's kind of more the depth, talking to John, John Hines, he mentioned that. I said their depth hasn't been where they wanted to be. Injuries have been a huge part of it. And also they're still dealing with the cap situation from Suter and Parise. Very fair, yeah. Almost 15 million that they have to deal with next year as well, so. Absolutely a factor in the season for the Wild, no It's doubt. a huge part of it, but that top line, you're right, has, has been great for them. Goaltending has been an issue as well for Minnesota. They got a lot of goalies that save percentage start with eight. The Kings started the season, they won 11 straight on the road. A National Hockey League record. And here they got a chance to finish up with a 10-game home winning streak. Laferriere's in the box for interference. First power play opportunity for Minnesota. Here's Boldy breaking in, and he scores! Matt Boldy opens up the legs on Cam Talbot, and it's 1-0 Minnesota. Job buying his ice. He stays back on the breakout and then he lets his speed build. You can see LA Kings are staying flat footed, trying to protect the blue line. But Boldy comes all the way from his own zone, comes in and great little slip play there on Roy, puts it to an area, grabs the puck. Five hole opens up on Talbot. And what a goal. What speed as well. Boldy is 29th of the year. 1 0. 19th pick overall, the 22 NHL draft. 20-year-old Phenom from Sweden. Here's Kempe. What a move! And that shot is stopped by Gustafsson. Adrian Kempe trying to light it up. Shot blocked again. Moore can't get it free. Racing out is Goligoski. Beats the goalie. He'll go back of the net. Goligoski shoots. And it's blocked. Must have got off the stick of Trevor Moore. When you're sitting in the box, that's the only thing you're thinking. Like, let me get a breakaway out of here. Talbot comes out, tries to play it, misses the post shot. Goligoski has a wide open net. And Trevor Moore saves a goal right there, deflects it. Good stick coming back. Spencer makes Goligoski go around. Moore back checks, stick to puck. And we are set to go for the second period. ESPN Bet is the official sports book of ESPN and an official partner of the NHL.
Even? Oh, yeah. A even. dash? Even. <laughs> Definitely even. That shot from Brock Faber right on. And the stop by Cam Talbot. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's you're, you're looking at the future picks there for Billy Graham. And at the time, Fiello's exactly what the LA Kings need, so I understand that move. But back to the point, Royal swinging around. Geno yeah. yeah. works it in deeper. That shot right on. And Boldy's got the lone goal, came in the first period. And he's got the puck now. Boldy drops it. Rossi lets it go. Saved by Talbot. Chisholm. Shot. That looks like it caught iron. The post to the left of Cam Talbot rocks out. If you're Gavrikov there, you got to start yelling and screaming. But it's Hartman on the other end. And this is what he's so good. He's got such a good shot. He gets Puck to the front of the King's net. And only LA is there. Here's Kempe's got a step. They onside. They are. Kempe rockets one well with Kopitar cruising the crease. Real good battle in front of the net. Deneau is in there with Goligoski. They continue to work each other over towards the side of the net. Stick save Gustafson and pushes it aside. And the wild aim of the clear. Great shot there from Faber as well. He's just shooting for his stick. That's all he's doing. He's trying not to get it on net. He just wants a tip. Good luck. Boldy down low. Trying to get Kaprizov off the pipe and stayed in the blue and it's out. This is a chance from Kaprizov in front of the net. You can see he's going to slide in back door as this puck works its way around. It's a pass across and he gets tied up and then he gets actually stuffed by the post. That puck comes right there and he just stuffed by the post, kicks back out to Talbot with his right leg. Check for some black tape there. I'm gonna have to get that out of my mind now. Here's Kaprizov, two on one. Makes the feed in front, they score! Ryan Hartman on the receiving end of a gorgeous pass. And with 4.7 seconds left, it's Minnesota two and LA nothing. Yeah, Hartman with a real slick finish on this one. And Kaprizov, great pass as well as Anderson pressures Kaprizov. Hartman doesn't shoot that right away. He corrals it and he waits for Talbot to come over. Little sauce pass as well. And as he waits for Talbot to come over, that's when he finds Kopitar circles the net. They find him. Fiala gets the return feed. Back for Kopitar. Downey one time rocket right pad save Philip Gustafson. And the wild look to counter the other way of Rossi. And across the line. Spilled. Off the side and in. What a play. Kirill Kaprizov banks it in off of Cam Talbot. And it's 3-0 Minnesota. Look at the smile. What a smart play this is from Kirill. And a good job from Rossi to protect this puck. Get it down low to Kaprizov. And he realizes right here there's a little bit of space because Talbot's got his block around the ice trying to take away that pass. He banks it in off the nameplate of Talbot into the back of the net. It's going to be a good playoffs. It's going to be fun to watch. No question. Can't wait. After a stellar regular season. Still has a few days left in it. Lazak shoots the in this building and a little bit of life in his team. They're just going to be on a rush. It's not an out man rush. It's a three on three rush. And he's going to snap this one as Fiala drives the defenseman back. As he does this, that just creates a little bit of room for Lazat. Eric Sinek actually gets a good stick on Lazat, but good strong bottom hand. He snaps that puck. Yeah, Kings can't even get it deep. Here's Boldy. Spin move. Backhand on forehand. Knocked aside. They'll go back to the point. Dowdy thought about it. They go across the ice for the Kepe shot. Gustafson the save. And there's no rebound with a minute 23 to go. Basically, the captain right now is Spurgeon out. So, thanks, pal. You we weren't far off. Thanks for having my back I got there. Face-off won by Minnesota. Horn sounds, and that will do it.